If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more delicious recipes. Also, click on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload a new recipe on the Hello, Namaste. Raita or yogurt side dish forms a very important part of Indian food. In fact, some of the foods make good combos with raitas. So what makes a good raita? Of course, the main ingredients and a great raita masala. So today I'll show you how to make a simple raita masala at home that you can keep and enjoy raita anytime. You can even sprinkle this masala over plain yogurt and enjoy it as is. For raita lovers, Note the ingredients needed to make this special raita masala. List is also given in description below. First, we need dry mint leaves or sukhi pudina patti. For that, wash mint leaves or pudina patti and drain them well. Dry them using a paper towel like this. And after that, put them on a fresh paper towel on a microwave safe plate. Only the leaves and microwave these leaves for about 1 minute and 30 seconds to 2 minutes. Your microwave may do it in a lesser or more time. Please check. Store these dry leaves in an airtight container and use them in recipes of choice. Today we will use Two tablespoon of these dry leaves and let me show you other ingredients black salt rock salt or kala namak dry ginger powder or salt powder cumin seeds or zira peppercorn or kali mirch black cumin or shahi zira if you do not have this particular spice let it go but it adds to the taste of this masala anyway now let's start the making First, we will ground peppercorn and both types of cumin seeds in a dry grinder. When we have coarse powder, time to add in the remaining ingredients that is dry mint leaves, dry ginger powder, asafoetida and rock salt and pulse one to two times again to get a nice fine powder so our beautiful green green raita powder is ready it must be stored in a glass container that is airtight and kept in a cool dry place always use a dry spoon to take out this masala now let's make very simple bundi raita with this masala so we have soaked bundi in some warm water for about 10 minutes and then squeeze out water. Here we have 1 cup of beaten yogurt or finta hua dahi. To it add in finely chopped green chilies to taste and very little finely chopped red onion. Also add in the squeezed out bundi. Some raita masala and a little bit of salt to taste. You may want to add some water to this raita to adjust the consistency to your liking like if you are going to relish it with some bread naan roti or paratha you may want to have it thicker but a thin raita goes well with rice dishes or biryanis don't forget to garnish with some finely chopped cilantro leaves before enjoying this a delicious yogurt side dish is ready in no time when you have this masala handy. Thanks for watching.